Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a Q&A. We we'll asked everybody on, on my YouTube community, on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter to send us some questions. The reason we're doing it is because we've reached 1,000 subscribers back in October. For anybody who doesn't know the importance of hitting 1,000, it's the first major milestone on a YouTube channel. So that means basically that the channel becomes monetized. So as of October, we're starting to get paid by YouTube to do our videos. At the minute it's not very much but obviously the mode builds up once we get a 10,000 it'll probably start building up a lot more so that was the reason we've decided to do this just in a little bit of a celebration thing to get them um, just to sort of connect with some of our subscribers and followers so we'd just like to thank everybody first for sending in the questions we've got quite a few to get through so firstly we'd just like to thank everybody for their support and helping us reach 1,000 subscribers the channel's still growing well kind of pushing towards one and a half thousand now we're getting there sh slowly but surely but obviously we can't get out and do videos all the time because we do work it's kind of a part-time thing at the minute but you know who knows where things go but we'll jump into the q a so jack is gonna read out the first question and then we'll answer them both together and we'll take it from there okay so your first question you asked is when did we both meet each other do you want to answer first or? Uh, yeah, I can do, yeah. So we met in November 2009 in Morbeth, both out yeah. on a night out. Um, both were unplanned and we just went from there basically. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we kind of both didn't want to go out that night with respective friends, did we? I was having a bit of a bad time and then Jai had been having a bit of a bad time. We've both kind of been in not very good relationships to be fair. and. I think we're both a bit down in the dumps and we just bumped into each other in a pub. I think one of your friends kind of pushed you into me and... Oh uh, yeah, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then that was it really. We, we, we just got chatting. We got bar. chatting, yeah. We, I bought Jack your drink. I think I complimented on your behind. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, that was it really. We, we kept in touch. I gave Jackie my number. She couldn't remember my name. Luckily she found my number in her phone the next day. And then uh, we went out for a meal the next night and then we planned one next day and it's, it's just kind of gone from there, hasn't it? You kind of get rid of us no, from I, there on. I couldn't you? get rid of you from there on there, no, no. So, yeah, but, <laughs> but that was a good thing. It was, yeah. It's, it's, it's been quite a while now. It's been, what, 13 years now it's been together? Yeah. And we got married in 2015. We did get engaged in Thailand in 2012. Pretty yeah. much. We moved in together, it was about 2010, I think. We hadn't really been together that long. We had our first holiday in, it was the July time? It was 2010? June, July, yeah. yeah it was when, July. Yeah, so July. When, yeah it was the yeah, first event, yeah. It wasn't long after that, well, I mean, I was pretty much at Jackie's all the time. My dad was moving down to Cheltenham and he'd asked if we wanted to rent his place off him, so I asked Jackie and kind of put her on the spot. And uh, yeah, yeah I was, was walking it. around Asda. <laughs> Do you want to move in? <laughs> uh, yeah. But no, it's like it's worked out really well, and we've kind of both same got the the same sort of like ideas about going away on holidays and traveling, and that's kind of where the ideas come up from a little bit. To be fair, it all come about because of lockdown. We were having quite a lot of holidays, and it's just gone from there, really. Yeah. Um, it was just like an ideology for at the time more me than Jackie. Jackie didn't really want to get involved in it but it's just spiralled. So the next question is what are your occupations and where did you meet? Do you, do you want to start on that one? So I work for the local council within the social care sector and um, so it's quite busy and um, keeps us on my feet. And my, I actually work for the government so I probably can't say too much about what I do for a job <laughs> Because, well, you're not it's really, not, not really meant to, I know it's not, but, but I kind of work in, it's like a finance background. So it's a lot of stuff to do with the Northern Ireland protocol that I'm doing. And it's like a degree in finance for programs based within the Northern Ireland protocol. So it's, it's, it can be quite a stressful job. It's like assurance, governance and assurance type of thing that I do. And I've been there for about, I think 20, 23 year now maybe it's this year I think. How long have you been in yours? Um, well yeah, 23 yeah. 23, 23 yeah. yeah. Do you get me? <laughs> half, so me, half me life. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I spent I know. working there, yeah. 
yeah. had a few different jobs in between, but always within the council. Yeah, yeah. same for Similar me. Similar sort of yeah. sector as well, so. Same for me, I've worked for the same place since 1999. But yeah, various jobs within the place, obviously promotions and all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, those are what jobs. It pays the bills, it, it pays for our travels. So Matt, we'll, yes. We'll walking, yes. We need more money though. We need more. <laughs> Hopefully we'll, need we'll more get money. that from YouTube. <laughs> so the next question is, who is the boss? <laughs> Bit more of a personal one. <laughs> uh, I would say. We've, we've probably both got different answers on this. And to be fair, I think, <laughs> no. <laughs> you will. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I would say none of us are the boss, to be fair. I would say in terms of the YouTube thing, I um, manage that yeah, pretty Jimmy, much. Yeah, I pretty much do yeah. everything on that, to be fair. Obviously, Jackie started getting involved a bit more. But in terms of home life, I would say, like, I don't think there is any boss in the house. Like, no, I just think we're much. pretty much on an even keel, to be yeah. fair, we're not. I mean, I don't get the TV very often. No, but you're, <laughs> you are quite bossy sometimes. So it's I don't know it's a bit of give and take I suppose Bobby, really isn't it half and half yeah that's that's how, <laughs> that's how I'll answer that one half and half <laughs> okay so the next question is what is your favourite thing about ski athos uh, do you want me to answer that one first yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, for me personally I would say the people I would say that is the friendliest Greek island I've ever been to that was the second time I've been to ski athos. Um, I can't remember it being that friendly, but I stayed in Skiathos town last time and I didn't probably get out and about as much as what we did when we were there. But obviously staying in Trulos, it was just the friendliest of places, wasn't it? Mm. Like everybody was lovely. <clears throat> in the restaurants, the pubs, um, it didn't matter where you went, everybody was just lovely. And Greece is usually quite a friendly place anyway, but to me it was just the people for me was just yeah, outstanding, yeah, weren't they? They were really, really friendly people. Uh, don't know, what was your favourite thing? Um, I would probably say exactly the same, yeah. Um, very, very friendly. Um, felt really comfortable. Even like other tourists were like coming up to you and speaking to you just randomly. So um, it was just really nice and yeah. I've never been to ski athletes before. That was my first time so I didn't know kind of what to expect and I'd always wanted to go. Um, but even like ski athletes town was um, really nice yeah, as well. Absolutely. Obviously a bit more busy. I mean, obviously, um, it's not as small as well as you watch your losses, you don't get that. Yeah, it's quite um, laid back true losses. Yeah, isn't it? but it was really, really, really nice. There was loads, loads to do as well. Mm -hmm. There was more to do than that kind of. And there's, well, true, true loss, yeah. true loss itself. So re like, depend what kind of holiday you want. If you, if you want like quite a relaxed, quiet holiday, it's perfect. But there's enough there for you to do, isn't there? The restaurants oh, in true loss yeah. were absolutely tremendous. They were. We didn't really have a bad meal, did we, when we were there in true loss? I think all the food was really no, good. it was fine. Just um, that one breakfast was a bit dodgy. Oh yeah, I can't remember, I can't remember what the name <laughs> of that place the was. The it was. It was like, if you stay at the Morphia, it's like, he's like an old sailor type bloke, wasn't he? Yeah, apparently the food there was really uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, maybe just the breakfast just wasn't the breakfast. Well, like, yeah. But, uh, yeah. but no. But the guy yeah. was really canny, yeah, yeah. And then obviously you can get the bus, like, goes through Chulos, so you can, you can get a bus anywhere. If you wanted to go and get a bit more nightlife, obviously it was just pretty much down the road, minutes, to be fair. Yeah, we're on the bus, so. I don't know what time the last bus and stuff. I think it's quite oh, late. I'm sure it was um, about 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. So, yeah, because like, yeah, no, really. the taxis were quite expensive, but the island's really small, so it's really good for getting about. Um, like, we hired the quad bike. We got around the island on the quad, no bother. There's, there's quite a lot to like about Ski Athos, to be fair. There's, I can't really think of any negative things to say about it, other than, I don't know, the weather was a little bit rubbish during the time, but that can happen anywhere. Oh, well, it's, that's, it's just one yeah. of them things, isn't it? I think it is a bit up and down. Yeah, I yeah. think that time yeah, can't be. This question is connected to question one. It was asked by Antro. <clears throat> so what is your dream holiday? At the moment, haven't been watching quite a few things on YouTube because we watch quite a few sort of traveling videos and all that kind of thing. I would have to say at the minute probably the Philippines. Reason for that is it just looks like absolute paradise and it looks very similar to sort of Thailand, being a Thailand before. And the beaches there are absolutely amazing. Like proper white sand, clear waters, the limestone cliffs. It just looks amazing. So I'm really getting an itch to go to the Philippines now. And I've been thinking that I think ever since maybe it's lockdown. 
because we started mm -hmm. watching yeah, stuff during not. lockdown which is obviously how our ideas come about and just seeing some of the islands and some of the places there it just it really really hits a note with me so i would have to say the philippines and um, yeah i would say this only purely on what videos we've watched and um, we didn't really know much about the philippines and um, and obviously thailand would be my I love Thailand, I've been there twice, obviously twice I've been there and absolutely loved it. But yeah, seeing the videos from the Philippines, I definitely want to go there. Um, and I've always fancied the Caribbean as well, I haven't been to the Caribbean, I always Very true. They look. Um, yeah, I've never been. So it's a hard one to answer actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Philippines, if we've, got, if we've got a choice of going somewhere next, it will try and be the Philippines. It would have to be for a little while I think, because we yeah. probably have to travel around a little bit but like a big one if we had like a, a, a big one next big one plan that would probably be yeah, yeah. yeah. that would be our goal our oh, next save anyway it would be to go to the philippines so our next question we have are are you planning to travel full time <laughs> this is a good question and it's one that i would love to say yes um i don't know about you but personally that would be the absolute dream to just be able to quit my jobs travel around do this YouTube thing full time if we could, but at the minute it's just not possible. Um, we've got a house, we've got a good wage coming in. If we're getting decent money from doing the YouTube videos, then I would probably say yes, but obviously that's not, it's not a consistent wage, so you'd have to start getting lots of views, probably sponsorships for videos. Obviously, because we've got a house, we're still paying for a house, we've got a daughter at home still. It's just not as easy and we haven't really got much saving behind we have we, we saved a bit during covid and stuff as everyone did but it just dwindles away um <laughs> for like holidays well, yeah, well, that's the thing. <laughs> so it's, it's not easy but ideally i would love to but it's probably just not possible at the minute so it's yeah, yeah. long time goal would be yes we would plan on traveling full time and if we get the finances and we're able to do that no question about it we'd be up in a way <laughs> yeah never say never because yeah. you, you don't know what's going to happen in life even if i'm 60 70. chatty won 402 pound <laughs> on the bingo last night so there's yeah, a start yeah, there's geez, a start yeah. but uh at the minute it's probably just not possible but like i say never say never in the future does jackie ever get annoyed whilst you film her eating her first bite <laughs> <laughs> only when i burn my mouth <laughs> Or he asks us when I haven't even looked at my food <laughs> and the camera's in my face. So sometimes I do, but no, normally it's all right, it's fine. I know what's coming Just now. Just as well. Don't we? <laughs> the next question is what is your favourite foreign beer and who would win a fight between Poseidon and Hedes and why? So I'll answer it because I don't think you probably know, do you? Well, they're not Greek gods. Yeah, very, very good. That's a good start. Um, so favourite foreign beer first, mm -hmm. this is a really hard question because I could go on all day about beers from around the world. <sighs> I've thought about this one and I'm going to have to say Chang. The reason being is that I've had some of my best nights ever when I've been in Thailand drinking Chang. Um, it's just a free for all and I'm sure at one time Chang used to be every bottle you used to get was a different percentage so you, it was like russian roulette you didn't know what you were getting it's different now i think it's just the standard five percent but when i first went in 2002 you could get a beer that was a lot weaker than another one uh, in, in terms of chang anyway so you just like i say it was roulette sometimes you could get one that was as strong as eight percent and it, it just blew your head off um so yeah and obviously the reason for it is just being the times I've had when we've been drinking Chang and just where I've been and the things that have happened which have just been brilliant <coughs> and then Jati what would you say your foreign beer is? Well actually mine funny enough I didn't even know your answer would be Chang as well and purely on my first holiday in Thailand and I just had an absolute amazing time that was messy. Oh, yeah and it, it was it was a messy yeah <laughs> messy drink excellent though absolutely excellent yeah and that was the first time obviously I'd had Chang as well and um, I, I, I just really like it. Um, no, it's, it now. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, yeah, it tastes a little bit different now. It don't, it, well, yeah, it tastes a bit different um, here as well, I think. Mm -hmm. No, it's not the same as when you drink it in Thailand. Yeah, so that would be my, that would probably be my favourite. The next part of the question is, who would win a fight between <laughs> Poseidon and Hedes? 
my answer will be head airs. I've had a look into this one myself. And the reason being is that I think he held the key to Tortorus and he can just obliterate anything. So he's the god of the underworld. So I think he would oh, have the power to wipe you. out anything. You Did we not meet Poseidon and Kos? <laughs> Oh that yes, was Neptune, Neptune wasn't it? Was it was Neptune. Neptune. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see if I can put a yeah. picture over because he was sat on the side of the. He was in the hot, thermal. The thermal bath. That was it. Yes. Uh, yeah. In the hottest part, he was just <laughs> loving life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah. If you could live anywhere you've travelled, where would it be? Do you want to answer that one first? Mm. I would have to say Greece. I absolutely love Greece. Mm -hmm. I guess, yeah, Greece. I would say Greece. Yeah, Greece is Greece nice. would be my, um, yeah, just the people are so nice. The, 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 it's a fantastic place as well. Just my way you go in Greece, I don't yeah. think I've been anywhere <coughs> in all the places we've been where I haven't I haven't loved it. I love some yeah, of nice. yeah. That's a good answer. I never actually thought about <coughs> Greece. My answer would be Canada. I've been to Canada twice when I was younger with my mum and dad. Um, so we had a, uh, my dad's friend who lives out there, uh, he emigrated there, I think, I think it was in the late 70s. Um, so he settled out there and we went to visit him twice and he had like amazing houses. He's obviously done well for himself, of course, but the thing with Canada, it's just the people are lovely, the lifestyle is lovely, the place is so clean. You never really hear much about kind of crime or anything as much there. I've, I think it started creeping up a little bit in the last few years. Just but you never hear <coughs> about it on the news. And I just I don't know. There's something about the place. I just love the way they live. Um, so for me, yeah, it would be Canada. I haven't been to Canada. Yeah, so it's, oh, it's great. I love it. I think it's quite expensive now. And it's quite hard to get into the country. Yeah. A bit like Australia, you've got to have so much money behind you. You've got to have like a certain amount of qualifications yeah. and. Or if you've already got a job over there, or oh, meet a Canadian woman, then you could get a green card, but that's yeah. not on the cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is your favourite holiday destination? From out of where I've been, it will be close between Greece and Thailand, to be fair. Greece and yeah. Thailand. The next sort of couple of questions all kind of link in. So we've got, what is your favourite holiday destination? Where was your favourite place you visited? And what is the favourite place you have been? So that, that all kind of linked I would say yeah so yeah I think yeah it's a toss-up for me between well Thailand Thailand's amazing Um I've been four times you've been twice mm -hmm. and I've, I've loved it every single time we've been Um all for different reasons but I don't know for short haul Greece yeah yeah um, Greece is only, what, three, three and a half, four hours away, depending which island you go to. It's easy enough to get to, like I say, and it's, you know what you're, what you're going to get when you get, get there. Yeah. The people are lovely. But again, same with Thailand. The people are lovely in Thailand. Mm -hmm. um, the food's lovely in Thailand. food's lovely in Greece. It's a toss-up between the two for me. But even then, I would say the times I've been to Canada, I've loved Canada. Um, Obviously, you can't compare that, but to me, it's it's just a great place. I've loved it, um, and we had a good experience. Yeah. We and the, the next question that's on there, where was your favourite place you visited? If it's going off the ones that we've done recently for YouTube, I would have to say is like a Pani. Yeah, that was brilliant. That just absolutely amazing. Something totally different as well, because obviously you you know what to expect from Poland. So just getting to Zakopane was just it was. But you slept unreal. off the way, didn't you? <laughs> I only had a little snooze. Yeah, I was left to do all the driving. <laughs> yeah, you were driving. You were, I was fine. Yeah, I did see um, most of the scenery, but yeah, just when when we did um, the lake, Moscow. Oh yeah, that was. Oh, brilliant. that was just stunning, wasn't blew, it? Blew your mind out, yeah. It's somewhere I'd like to go back in the summer as well. Um, yeah, I'd like to go back in the summer. So you could actually in, see the lake. Yeah, I'd like to go back again in the winter, but I'd love to go for like Christmas with family yeah, and stuff as well. Cool. Because you can get like lodges outside of like, like kind of just a little bit outside of yeah. Sagapani, like yeah, which look absolutely fab as well. And It'd be nice and cozy, wouldn't it? Yeah, so just that proper uh -huh, Christmas yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, again, people were lovely there as well. Were, um, yeah. just, um, and like I say, it was like a 
Alpine. The skiing was good. No, the skiing was, was good. I'm really supposed to have done skiing, yeah. Um, that was really good. Just There was loads to do there, there as was, well. Yeah, yeah, there was, good. Places that we didn't... Um, because we were there like a week, weren't we? Well, nearly a week. We were inside a pony for five, five, yeah, five nights. So um yeah that was that was i could have stayed day. longer to be yeah, fair yeah excellent. and it was just lovely waking up that little mm -hmm. that little lodgy thing we had a great well. view oh, of the that villa. yeah that the villa was um fantastic yeah and then just waking up the snow every morning it like, was lovely down yeah. it was just, it was yeah. like you say it's something different it's something i'd wanted to do for absolutely years because i think i first went to krakow god it was before it was probably one of the first easy j <laughs> easy jet <Jeff>. flights <laughs> left from newcastle to krakow and we're going back, it must be about 2004, 2005 maybe. And I remember walking past this travel shop and seeing the um, the mountain pictures, thinking, oh, where's that? And it was Zakopane. So I've always had that, like it's pulled us, it's somewhere I've wanted to go for years. So we finally got the opportunity to do it last year, so we jumped at it. We got our flights really cheap and it was like, oh, look, let's just hire a car and let's go down there. Let's try some skiing, um, which was something else we wanted to do. I've never tried skiing before, yeah, I love that. so that was good. Wasn't <laughs> it? Yeah, yeah, it was a good so, day. Yeah. But yeah, I would I'd probably agree. Yeah, favorite yeah. place you visited. It's one yeah. of the favorite places because it's 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 a winter wonderland. It's just it's great. Mm -hmm. It's just different. But like like you said, I think it'll be absolutely like fantastic in the summer. Yeah, we'll it will be. Like, there must be so many walks and stuff you can do. It, it, it's just, yeah. To go all all yeah. It's, it's, it's cheap to get there. Mm -hmm. like quick quick Ryanair flight and you're there. Right, so the next one is from Ian Phillips and he asks, I have a question, he said. Me and my wife, Danny and the kids love S second thought. Uh, we go over yeah, I fancy Spain or the Spanish islands or maybe the Balearics. I would even like to try Gran Canaria or Portugal. How can I persuade the wife to try something new? She's having none of it. Right. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> uh, oh, well, this is one of the things when we were booting Grand Canary, I've been before and I wasn't so sure I wanted to go back. Mm. So I was a little bit hesitant and we did actually like wait quite a few weeks, didn't we? We kept looking at it. It was the one that was coming up the cheapest. Um, and obviously we love Greece, obviously Ian, you've, you've seen my Zakynthos videos um, and we just thought, oh do you know what, sod it, let's, let's just book it and go and to be fair, it was absolutely brilliant wasn't it, it's yeah. really cheap, it's much cheaper than Greece I actually I was surprised how much I did actually like it Yeah, it was really nice um, Not so much the food, mm. but I kind of expected that, although there were some places who that were really, really, really nice I think in terms of the food, <clears throat> if you keep away from some of the commercial centers and get if you go to Puerto Rico for instance there's some lovely there's a string of restaurants by the beach there's about mm. five or six we only tried one which was Franz yeah. which is probably the best meal we had when we're there but apparently those ones along the front are really really nice the where they looked it yeah, yeah. they looked it there's only like a little few in that tiki bar on the mm -hmm. corner I think they do food yeah. as well and um, again they look so they <coughs> probably were really nice but yeah if you're in the commercial center it is yeah it's yeah, typical tourist, tourist, tourist yeah. british british tourist really people going ends, for like yeah. a cheap holiday but the, i mean gran canary itself mm. the island itself is absolutely oh, amazing it's, yeah. um i don't know if you've seen all our videos but it was episode six we did when we got the car and went into the mountains amazing Oh yeah. Um, the scenery was just breathtaking. Rocky and Hublot. Rocky and Hublot. Oh, that was um, just... Mirador de Balcon. Just the drive. The, the drive for me was just out of this world. You've got to drive slow so you, you do <laughs> actually get time to take everything in because the, the roads are lo loads of hairpin bends. And we were just stopping like oh, every like two minutes. Yeah. Like, oh, I've got to get out and have a look. Yeah, you it just... It was absolutely brilliant. I would have took a four hours. If ah, yeah. <laughs> But honestly, we can really recommend it. So, Danny, get yourself the Gran Canaria because it's, it's lovely. Yeah, Gran Canaria, really, really definitely. Nice. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, probably... well, Portugal? Yeah. But yeah. I've only been once to Portugal. Oh, yes. um, I don't think I would have a craving to go back there. I mean, I would, but Portugal. I would. Portugal. Yeah, yeah we'll go back to Portugal. Over, um, I think Portugal is a nice place. Over Zandi and stuff. <coughs> so, yeah. But yeah, no, yeah. Like I say, I've been to a few Spanish islands. Balearics, I think. And it is your typical. Yeah, it's your kind of usual. Again, you know fare, what you're gonna it? get. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 
But no, Gran Canaria definitely. Um, we've been to Spain quite a bit as well. Been to the mainland in Spain. Um, where was it we were a couple of years ago? A place called Cabo Roy, which is down towards Murcia, or Murcia, as they call it over there. So we flew to Alicante and it's about 45 minutes south of Alicante. And it's really cheap, isn't it, down there? Mm -hmm. And everything's um, like just on one street as well. Um, so we stayed in like a... It was like a townhouse type thing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like a townhouse. So we only like <coughs> we weren't very far from the strip, but you you couldn't hear nothing. Mm -hmm. You you wouldn't have thought it was so close. Yeah, um, my mum and dad came with me, and they don't. Well, my mum doesn't really like all that type of thing, but she, they they loved it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah they, they did. It. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything closed down quite early as well. Yeah, it was like, about one o'clock, I think. The, the latest one was born. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, and they all had like happy hours on as well, like they do at home, right? You know the three courses for whatever as well and yeah. um, wine was reasonably yeah, cheap, uh, yeah. priced supermarkets uh, were really yeah. cheap weren't they it's the spain for me it's the food the food yeah that's the, to be fair we didn't have many bad meals there though cabo roy no but i wasn't blown away by anything no. either I was just, not like Greece it was or just yeah or thailand anything the wine was nice it was yes the supermarket's wine's nice as well. Yeah, yeah. One, for a, one euro for a so, bottle. Well, it was a pound. It worked yeah. out a pound. It was like one euro <laughs> nine for a litre of white wine. I thought this would be rocket. Then it was <laughs> minging, just that. It was lovely, wasn't it? When got another bottle. <laughs> we got another few yeah. So our next question is, have you ever thought of going on a long, on a long haul holiday and doing a vlog? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And the reason we're giving a short answer on that is because <laughs> the next two questions tie in with that. So they are, um, there's one from Amanda and Colin, which says, we're really enjoying your post, so thanks for that. Um, we wondered if you've ever had thoughts on where you'd like to go next. Yes. <laughs> and where's the next holiday going to be? So that brings us to the end of the Q&A. And the reason we put them last is because <coughs> we're now going to reveal where we're going next. So we're going to roll the trailer we've made for this. So here you go. I'm thinking the trailer's gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it gonna come on? In there. I just have a break. <coughs> well, I also watch the <laughs> Okay, so that's where we're going next. Yeah, we're going to Kuala Lumpur in Vietnam. So we thought we'd give you a little bit of insight into what some of our plans are. We're gonna be away for five weeks. So we're gonna try something completely different this time. I've been backpacking before, but Jackie's never done it. And it's really gonna take us out of our comfort zone a bit because where we usually do holidays is we've got a base and we stay somewhere. This time around, we're gonna be stopping places for maybe three, four nights at most and moving on. So we're flying 
in March to Kuala Lumpur. We're having three nights in Kuala Lumpur and then we're gonna fly across to Ho Chi Minh City. We're looking at maybe two nights there, two nights and three days. And then we're gonna move on to a town called Dalat, which is up in the mountains. And um, there's loads of waterfalls and <coughs> it's a bit of a cooler climate. So it looks like really, really nice. And apparently March and April is the perfect time to go up. So we're gonna go there. Then we're hopefully going to get to Hoi An for the Lantern Festival on the 4th of April. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of time there, a little bit of downtime because we're probably going to be knackered by the time we've done all that. That's basically a week into the trip. <clears throat> so we're going to spend a bit of time there. There's a beach there. I think it's quite a laid back place. So we're looking forward to going there because it's meant to be a beautiful place. I think we're going to spend a little bit of time in Da Nang and Hue. We'll probably visit some of the sites around that area, so we'll, we'll try and get some videos from there. Then we've got a little bit of time where we're not quite sure yet what we're going to do. No. Um, we're still planning everything at the minute. Mm -hmm. So there's a few national parks we'd love to go to. Whether we can fit them in or not, I don't know. But there's one between Hue and a place called Ninh Binh. So we are going to plan to go to Ninh Binh, but there's that little bit of time in between which we don't know what we're going to do. From Ninh Binh, we're then going to go to Hanoi in the north. So we're traveling basically from the south of Vietnam right the way to the north. We're going to have a bit of time there. We'll obviously be doing Ha Long Bay because that's one of the big things we've wanted oh, yeah, to do. <clears throat> and then, I don't know, depending on what kind of time we've got left, this is where we need to do our planning. There's some waterfalls right on the border of China. If we can fit those in, we'd love to do that because it looks absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. um, so everything's still kind of in the planning stage at the minute, but the idea is that we're going to have to wing quite a lot of it. So we're not going to book accommodation before we go. We've got our accommodation Kuala Lumpur. We're going to try and look before we go to get an idea of what places we can stay. Yeah, we're going to have an idea of yeah, but places where to go and places and stuff. So. We're just kind of maybe it's going to try and wing it. We're going to probably use some of the public transport. So we'll kind of show you what that's like when we're there. Um, show you obviously some of the food. We might do some food tours, do some videos on food tours because we've, we've seen a few of them. Obviously, we'll show you the cost of things. Um, show you what they're like after COVID because prices may have gone up since then. I know it's quite cheap Vietnam, which is one of the reasons we're going. We've had the money saved up for ages and we did actually plan to go before COVID. But then we had our flights booked. We were originally going to go to Singapore and then on to Vietnam. But obviously COVID just wiped yeah, everything out. Really, um, it was like trip, well, in fact, the, quadruple yeah, pretty the Pretty much price, quadrupled it, yeah. the price since COVID. <clears throat> We've had to pay quite a bit of money for these flights. Um, we yeah. yeah. we'll have the money there. That's the way it goes. Um, but yeah, that's that's how it's going to work anyway. So we we'll hope that you're looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, and if anybody's got any just tips or thing. ideas or places we could go, um, please feel free to mm -hmm. drop a message and let me know and we'll try and fit them in. Yeah, or if there's any kind of videos that my subscribers or our viewers would like to see we do when we're across there let one know in the comments and we'll we'll try and accommodate them we'll because i've got a few ideas in mind about things that we want to do things that we can film and all that kind of thing but if anybody's got any experience of being in vietnam or i've got a good knowledge of vietnam let one know and, and we'll, we'll take that on board and, and see what we're going to do yeah any tips as well because obviously <coughs> it's all our first time anybody um, who's been backpacking or yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any, no, I guess, yeah. any tips yeah it'll be, be really useful i'm not sure how i'm going to work it when i'm away because i don't know whether i'm going to take my laptop away <laughs> it's whether i'm going to get time to do any videos when i'm there so again would you prefer us to kind of rush the videos out or wait until i get home and get them all done when i get home so i can take my time and, and make a better job of it you tell us you know do you want to see how things are going when we're across there I mean, we can put stuff on Instagram, put, and ones and put reels and stories on Instagram, I suppose. So let one know, just let one know what you would prefer and we'll, we'll work it from there. I think that's probably it. Yeah, it? yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. So again, thanks to everybody who sent the questions in. Um, it's got my little minds ticking a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. I hope I answered them all right. Yeah. If you've got any more, just feel free to let one know. We'll can drop us a message. If you're new to the <coughs> channel, obviously drop us a subscribe. Um, if you're not new to the channel, leave a like and a comment. 
um, and obviously we'll look forward to, to seeing you very soon when we travel away. We might, I don't know, we might get some, um, a couple of videos done before we'll go away. Maybe it's just in our local area or whatever, I don't know. We haven't really got any plans at the minute because we're keeping a bit of a low profile at the minute. We're not touching any drink at the minute. No, we're trying, trying to, to lose a bit of weight before we'll go. After the Christmas. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah. I've thought about maybe if we got off our diet, going to a few restaurants and maybe reviewing a few places around here. I don't know if that's something that people will be interested in or not, but we'll, we've been thinking about just to keep things ticking over until we go away, really. Yeah, because all my leaves kind of <coughs> tie up in, in my next big trip, so yeah. Yeah, well, it's going to take up pretty much <coughs> my leaf for the year, but... No more leaves. <laughs> well, we might, we might get away in September still. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because what well, Jackie's still got, like, well, leave years are a bit different, but we'll see how things go. We'll try and get away, even if it's just for a week, maybe it's in September. Mm. But again, it'll probably be somewhere like Greece or Spain. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, see. See whatever comes up, yeah, right. whatever. It's whatever comes up the cheapest, really. Whatever comes up the cheapest, yeah, yeah we like a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> But that's yeah, how we get away. That's it anyway. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and hopefully we'll see you very soon. So bye. Bye.